We had a good meeting at the Joint Committee today. Uh, Vice President Marashevkovich and I both agreed that we need to go further in making sure that the Northern Ireland Protocol and the Withdrawal Agreement are implemented. And I'm glad that we have a forward pattern of work which will ensure that we can fulfil our obligations and the EU can fulfil its. Um, how close are we to a deal, if you say? I think in the Joint Committee we have a, a, a programme of work which ensures that the vital questions of looking after the Northern Ireland Protocol, safeguarding citizens' rights and making sure that the withdrawal agreement overall is delivered is in uh, a, a healthy state. Uh, the other talks which are taking place between Michel Barnier and Lord Frost I hope will go well this week, but the Joint Committee is a separate process and a separate strand. Okay. And, um, if we're not able to reach a deal by the end of the week, is it likely that we'll be adding on further rounds of negotiations, or is October 15th still a cut-off point? Well, the Prime Minister has been very clear that we need to see progress in the negotiations between Michel Barnier um, and David Frost in order to make sure that uh, we can conclude this process in good time. Uh, but it's also the case that in the talks which I'm involved in, um, the talks which are there to ensure that the withdrawal agreement is implemented, that uh, Maroshevkovich and I are committed to using every moment available, every second, every minute, every hour, in order to reach agreement, and I'm confident that we will. How much damage would you say the internal market bill has caused in reaching agreement? There have been those in the European Union who have uh, been concerned about the clauses that we've put into the UK Internal Market Bill. But I was able to stress today, as I have in the House of Commons, that these clauses are a safety net. We want to reach agreement in the Joint Committee. We want to make sure that the position of Northern Ireland is secure in the United Kingdom. We want to make sure that the withdrawal agreement is implemented in full. But uh, those clauses are there. They're in legislation, supported by the House of Commons, as a safety net, if need be, and those clauses will remain in that bill.